The, the other way is like if you have no idea how to use any of this system in terms of video, but you know how to use like Microsoft Word mm. or anything like writing material in computer. Just take that logic. For example, in computer, you, uh, when you're writing text, even, you know, we can go here uh, in terms of, so, let's say I write, uh, you know, just you write some text, but another text, another text. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little bit smaller, so let me zoom in so I can see. Okay, text, text, text. Like if I want to put something, like a, uh, if this text is, text with T is text with E. So three of them are different ones. And then the order is like this. Now, if I want to bring the one that was X as large at the beginning, what do I do? I can type one, but if I have a lot of information, I'll just highlight it, command X, mm -hmm. and then insert it. Mm -hmm. So I replaced it. Mm -hmm. That logic is I highlighted it, cut it, and then paste it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, just a general digital basic uh, information. Yeah. Let's bring that in here. Okay. What I was saying earlier is if you want to move things around here, you can play and then mark in, which is, you know, highlight the portion that you want to cut or the one you want to move. And then, like, so if I want this portion to move, to actually cut it and put it right here, I can do it. Just make sure you select the right video. So now, here, when you go to edit, see now the cut, Mm -hmm. is accessible. Wait, what? Uh, how did you do uh, how, the highlight? I never used that before. Well, well let's put it in, the in track and out. one. When, when you have a sequence, immediately track one is going to be active. Yeah, yeah. When it's active, then you go, you know, marking in and out. So, like, you can do marking in and out. Oh, so you just out. did in and out, marking? Marking in and out. Like no, then highlight was this the In thing. order, like, so the highlight is, when I say highlight in text. Yeah, yeah. That's the name for that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in editing world. Oh, you meant marking and out. Yeah, in editing world, the highlight means you got to start and end. Yeah, yeah. Start is an I, end is an O. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even mm -hmm. for me, that. Or in the actual editing term, in point, out point. Mm -hmm. So for me, the way I understood editing is by transferring that system, and then I say, oh, I can do that here. Because. When you go to edit in the actual text uh, software, it mm -hmm. has those. Cut, copy, paste, da 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 da. Right. They are here as well. So when do I use them? When I use them is like if I have no idea what the editing system is, I'll start with that. Bring it into a sequence and then mark in. And mark out. It actually highlights the portion that you want. Yeah. Just go to edit. Once you highlight the section that you want by selecting in and out, just go to edit. I'm out of this. I gotta be on the timeline in order to access it. Now, you can copy it if you don't wanna cut it, or, uh, you know, is it even for me? I like copy. If you do copy, so you copy it here. So, but where this cursor lands matters. Mm -hmm. So if I wanna like start the sequence or put together the sequence here, then I'll land it here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's deal with that. So I'll just, let's start it at the end. Come why did you see? highlight the entire thing? I because I kept for... clicking on the clip. Oh. You got to only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you got to make sure you don't click here. Yeah, when yeah. you do this, it's asking, what do you want to do with this? Yeah, yeah, Copy and paste. I didn't realize you highlighted it. That's why I did the marking in and out, so I can have a specific. Yeah. Uh, again, this is also similar like in text. If you highlight the whole thing, it will copy the whole thing. Mm -hmm. If you specifically highlight something, then it will do it. So except highlight is not going to be highlight in edit. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be another term. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what term is. Just like trying to understand the function. The function is I select a portion and I want to move it. 
And so, uh, uh, at least, you know, the, for me, the way I bring this technology down to my level is by thinking of that way first. And yeah. then I will go and adapt other things. All right. Okay. So now let's go to the end of, and then since it's selected, I can just go copy and then actually paste. Yeah. And then, you know, so, so it's basically, you don't even have to go another level. Just, you can start with what you know, which mm -hmm. is copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Now you have your sequence. So when you have your sequence, let's do another one quickly. So here, Let's say if I choose this section, mark in, play it, and mark out. Okay, now, because I'm used to, to the keyboard, uh, I already know where the keyboard is. If you don't know the keyboard, here's the play. You play, and if that's where you want to start, you can stop it, mark in, and then, like, let's say if this is the section that you want to add, and then you mark out now and also in all the softwares when you land on the key here on a little bit mm -hmm. it gives you what is it mark mm -hmm. so kind of you kind of familiar yourself with those some of them you will know some of them you want yeah. so mark out so select it on that and then i'll move my cursor to where i want the cut to be what about if i want in the middle i'll just land it in the middle mm -hmm. except now i will go to edit well, I didn't copy it yet. Yeah. So when I hit copy, it yeah, will copy sure. only the selected. Mm -hmm. When I hit paste, it will paste in where the cursor is, mm -hmm. in between. Now, except the paste acts like override. It will, it's gonna be paste on the top of it. On top of it, yeah. So what's the option if I wanna split them? Go to edit, no, nope. in here it says paste, insert. Oh, okay. It's actually you know helping me, so now I'm pasting and also separating them. So up command V. Yeah, it's, but he, he, like the way to you know to understand any editing software is to go to your basic element and say what can I do here. Mm -hmm. Those things you don't need anybody's lecture. Yeah, you can actually start yourself and then go with it. Mm -hmm. From here on, you start asking what else. What about this? What about this? What about this? Mm -hmm. And I think like for me, that's how I understand all softwares. At least that's how I begin by connecting what I do on the other one, and then where do I find on this one? Once I find it, then I start developing more, instead of just shut down. And all of them have very interconnected basic instructions mm -hmm. of like how to do things. Because most of them are constructing a virtual material into something. But at yeah. least if you understand this in Premiere, you can do this in Avid, you can do this in Final Cut, you can do this in iMovie. It just might have a different name. That's it, you know.